every traveller who comes to Zagreb should climb the steps to the upper town. The medieval citadel is a showcase of history. If you have more time, you should visit one of the museums. Klovicevi Dvori is doubly interesting, both as a former monastery and as a major gallery. Right now, it exhibits the works of a person who helped define the image of the Croatian capital. Antonia Kulcar Vajda. Or, as she is better known in Zagreb, Foto Tonka. She was born in 1887. After studying at the Photography Institute in Munich and learning her art in Vienna and Prague, she came to Zagreb. With time, she became a legend. She was one of the most important photographers between the World Wars. Her photographs of society, culture and celebrities of Zagreb fashion the image of an epoch, marked by new freedoms, interest in contemporary dance and ballet, theatre, fashion and other aspects of life. At first, she had a studio at King Tomislav Square. In 1932, she moved to Ilica 8, where she worked until the late 1950s. She introduced female nudes to Croatian photography. Her photographs of actors reflected the glamorous style of Hollywood. They published her photographs showing the social life of the time, from parties and masked balls to international stars visiting the city. These images are the chronicle of her time. Her photos are quite varied, they are all about people. They include even the King and Queen of Yugoslavia. Surprisingly, some of them look like they were made in our time. Her interpretations of dance moves are interesting, especially of the representatives of expressive dance they did away with music, story and costumes, reducing itself to movement and feeling. Many of the citizens contributed to this exhibition. The turnout was great, several hundreds of photographs with various people and events like weddings or birthdays. Like a lens gathering the light from an entire society, Fertitonka was the mirror of a European capital.